In the previous session, we have seen this identity and its application. Now friends, in this session, we will see one more identity. Let us see this identity. This equation says that if we add two variables a and b and multiply it with a minus b, then it is equal to a square minus b square. Can you check if this is an identity? Let's see. Consider this expression. Let us simplify this by removing the brackets. It will be equal to this. Now, here since AB is same as BA, positive AB and negative AB will get cancelled. Therefore, we will get this. We can see that this is the expression on the right hand side. Therefore, this is an identity. There is also an interesting way to prove this identity. Let's say we have a square and the length of its side is A. And we will remove a small square with side B from it. Can you tell me what will be the area of this remaining portion? There are two ways to find the area of this remaining portion. Let's look at the first one. We can see that this remaining area can be divided into two rectangles. The length of the first rectangle is equal to A and its breadth will be equal to A minus B. Now, let us consider the second rectangle. We can see that the breadth of this rectangle is B and its length is equal to A minus B. But if we observe, the breadth of this rectangle is equal to the length of this rectangle. We can move this rectangle from here and fit it over here. By doing this, we get one big rectangle. The length of this big rectangle is A plus B and its breadth is A minus B. We know that the area of a rectangle is equal to its length times its breadth. Therefore, the area of this rectangle will be A plus B multiplied by A minus B. So, we get the area of this remaining portion to be this. There is another way to find this area. This area is actually equal to the area of this larger square minus the area of this smaller square. What will be the area of these two squares? The area of larger square will be A square and the area of the smaller square will be B square. Therefore, the area of this remaining portion will be equal to A square minus B square. Since these two expressions are equal to the area of this remaining portion, these two expressions will be equal to each other. This way, we prove this identity. So, in this session, we have seen this identity. In the next session, we will see some examples related to the usage of this identity.